Hey guys, how you all doing? Peter Carvel here from sixpackfactory.com and welcome to another episode of the six minute six pack meals. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly make a very healthy and very tasty dish called chicken al greco. Now, if you get this in the restaurants, it can sometimes be a little bit unhealthy, too much oils, too much cheese on it, but I'm gonna show you a healthy version that you can make right there at home in just six minutes or less. Now this meal is also a little bit more sophisticated, so perfect to make for a special occasion, or if you just wanna show off to your girlfriend and show her that you know how to handle yourself in the kitchen. Now there are two things I just wanna talk about before we get to the ingredients, um, because you need to have these two things ready to be able to cook this meal in six minutes or less. Number one is cooked chicken. Now, you know I like that principle of cooking in bulk, so if you adhere to that principle, then chances are you have chicken ready and you'll be able to just take it out and start making this dish. The second thing is how you make your chicken. You need to have flat, thin and big pieces of chicken and the way you do that is by tenderizing your chicken before you start cooking it in bulk or just cooking it in general. So you need to have those two things ready and have your chicken perfectly for this meal before you start going uh, to make sure you can do this in six minutes or less. Now last night I actually cooked some chicken in bulk and uh, with this meal in mind that I want to show you guys today and what I actually did last night is I actually cooked coriander and lime chicken and if you are an owner of the six pack diet and you go to the video section in the uh, private members website you can see a video there where I show you exactly how to make the chicken like you should have it for this meal. It's great just to have by itself as well. So let's get going by looking at ingredients for this week's meal. So to start off with we've got some pitted olives which is really nice and it's going to bring some healthy fats to the meal. Then there's some more healthy fats in the um, form of a avo, half a avo. And then we've got some fresh ginger and we're going to grate that um, over the meal at the end. And then we've got also some nice seeds, a mix of seeds um, that's also just extremely healthy and brings some more healthy fats to this meal. Then for protein on this side we've got two um, breasts of chicken. Now as always this is my portion. If your portion is only one breast of chicken then just cut one and a half and do the meal exactly as I'm going to show you. And then I'm also going to add some cayenne pepper just for a little bit of a kick and for those people who have never seen my video on how to make your own fat burner um, go and check it out here. I'll put a link to it and it's just a nice way to add some spice to your meal um, but also maybe just slightly increase your met metabolic rate and metabolism and burn a little bit more fat. And those are pretty much all your ingredients. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper um, but what I'm going to start off with right now is just heating up the chicken because this meal is much nicer hot. Just going to put the chicken in the microwave for about a minute just to heat up. Then I'm going to come back and start getting the avo and some of the ingredients ready and then I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So what we're going to do now first is just going to get myself a plate here and um, I'm going to start with the avo and as always let's just squeeze it all out, put this to one side again and then we're going to start off as always just to add a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little, we're not killing it with the sodium here and then let's just get this avo all ready and then what you want to do right away, just put this to the side, uh, is add a little bit of the cayenne pepper straight to your avo. There we go. Then it's nice and mixed in and we don't have to worry about it any further. Then what I will also do is I will take the um, mixture of seeds and get that in there as well. And I've got a great feeling to go under the chicken and to make this chicken all grego. So that's pretty much all of that done. What we're going to do now is I'm going to get the chicken, it sounds like it's ready, and then I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So there you go, two nice pieces of chicken breast. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put one of it to the side. And then we're going to start off with our uh, avo mixture we've made, and you're going to stick that right on top of the one chicken breast. As you can see, they're nice and flat. And it's very important because you're gonna make a little bit of a sandwich with the two chicken breasts and that's why it's important to have them thin, flat and all ready to go. Then I'm just gonna move this to the side and we're just gonna get a couple of these um, pitted um, olives and all you wanna do is just literally cut them in half. Nice and simple. 
you have a sharp knife like I have here, be careful. Nothing puts you off your um, meal like uh, a cut finger. <laughs> and then also, just move that to the side. We're gonna just slice this ginger up just slightly, just so we can get to the good stuff in the middle there. There we go, just move that to the side. Okay, then we bring this baby back in and we're gonna start by just adding the olives all over the place. Now, if you wanna make this meal a little bit naughtier, you can even put some healthy low fat um, feta cheese um, on here. If you wanna make it healthy and you wanna add some cheese, you can add some cottage cheese on top of the avo. It really gives it a great taste as well. So there you go. And then I'm just gonna take my grater here, and all you do is you just grate some um, ginger straight over everything. Just gives it a nice little bit of bite combined with the cayenne pepper. It really adds to the taste. And that's pretty much it. We take the other half, stick it on top, and that is your meal all done. Let's cut it in half, have a bite of this and see what it tastes like. Mm. Excuse me for a second, let me just enjoy this. Man, the olives, the little bit of spice from the cayenne pepper, and the ginger really makes this. And this is really a healthy meal. It's when you make stuff like this and you wonder why do anyone want to go and eat unhealthy stuff? We can get healthy stuff like this that's good for you and it tastes this good. Remember, this is a great low carb meal, so great for evening or after lunch if you want to start cutting your carbs to make sure you don't en end up with excess calories and excess carbs at night. That will end up just making you fatter. So, I know you guys are going to enjoy this one. If you want to impress anyone like your girlfriend, go make this. She'll be impressed. And for any special occasion, this is great as well. So enjoy this one. Until next time, guys, I'm going to go finish this baby off. Bye-bye.